Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing this monochromatic makeup look inspired by the Pantone Color of the Year, Living Coral. I even put on my Living Coral-ish nail polish. I know I'm going to get questions on this. This is Essence Indian Summer. It's not quite Living Coral, but I felt like it fit in. And this is a complete Shop Your Stash tutorial. I'm sharing with you guys how you can create a Living Coral inspired look without having to run out and buy anything new. All I did was mix and match shades that I already had. I didn't have any like straight up living coral colors in my collection. I had to kind of mix shades together to create this look. So I'm gonna share with you how you can make the most of what you have, do a look inspired by this trend. You have to let me know if you like seeing a color of the year inspired look. This could be an annual video for me if you guys enjoy it. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Am I giving this video a thumbs up if you like it? But let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. All right, so I've already done my base because I want the living coral elements to this look to be the cheeks, the eyes, and the lips. So everything else is done pretty much, except for the highlight. I'm not gonna do a living coral highlight, but I'm gonna do something that kind of ties in. Okay, so starting with blush, I picked out three options and I'm gonna swatch these and see which one I think is the closest. So first I took my Glossier Cloud Paint. I have the shade Beam. Okay, so there's the cloud paint. I might even do like a combination of these, but I also brought out my Urban Decay Blush in Indecent, which I kind of think this one is gonna be a little bit too light and peachy. Yeah, I think that's too peach. And then my third option is from Ofra. This is their blush in the shade Bellini. Okay, that one is super similar to Undressed, but maybe a little bit softer. So I think that Beam from Glossier is gonna be my best bet. So I'm just gonna take a little tiny dot of that on the back of my hand, and I did a whole video about like an introduction to cream and liquid products, if you wanna see that. And what I'm going to do is take my brush and kind of blend that out. Now this product I think works best with a sponge, but I'm honestly just too lazy to go pick up my, to go wet my sponge. So I'm just going to stipple this into the cheeks. Okay. So I feel like this is a good start, but what I'm actually gonna do is layer another blush. So I actually am gonna take a little bit of Indecent. I know I said it was a little bit light at first, but I feel like layered on top of Beam, it'll be good. Okay, I really like that. I, for this particular look, I want it to be very heavily focused on the blush, kind of like fading into the eyes. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of Indecent and kind of work this around my temple into the eye look. So I'm just taking the product and like dusting it into the brows. Now I'm, I'm not picking up a ton on my brush because I don't want like a harsh line, but I just want everything to fade into each other. For this look, I'm applying a lot more blush than I would usually wear for day to day, but I want it to I don't know, I kind of like a heavy blush look when I have something very soft on the eyes. And I feel like to do this much blush with a dramatic eye and a dramatic lip of all different colors would just be way too much. But because this look is a little bit softer and it's going to be all monochromatic, I think you can make it work. Okay, so I'm not gonna do a peach highlight mostly because I don't have one, but I wanted to use a color that Cass is snoring so loud right now. But I wanted to use a color that plays in with the coral tone. So I picked up my gold highlighter. This is the shade Hustla Baby from Fenty. I think anything gold is really nice for this look because Pantone even describes living coral as having a gold undertone. So I'm not gonna go super heavy on the highlight because I really want all the emphasis to be on that blush. And I'm also gonna take this, work it into the temple, and then over by the brow like I did with the blush. And then I'm going back with the brush that I used for the blush and kind of just doing circular motions to work everything into each other. All right, now we're moving on to the eyes and I have a couple of colors picked out that I think could fit into Living Coral, so I'm gonna swatch them out for you guys to see. Partially I wanna do this so I can see which one I think is gonna look best, but I also wanted to share this so in case you have any of these palettes and you wanna recreate this look, you can use any of these shades. The shade I think I'll probably end up using is the shade Still Shot from the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. That is the swatch of Still Shot. By the way, the Glossier Beam is still just 
just kind of stained that to my arm. I also wanted to pick out a shade from the Naked Cherry palette, and that is the shade Juicy. I think this is a little bit too soft and pink for Living Coral, but if you had this palette and you have like a lighter peachy orange shade, I think mixing them together would create a really pretty Living Coral tone. Actually, I don't even mind that. I might incorporate that into the look a little bit also. I did also pull out like my red and peach um, self-made palette, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't think anything is quite right. If anything, I might take either of these two shades and use them to like deepen up the outer corner. But actually, this color could be really pretty. This in the center is ColourPop, come and get it. It doesn't look like you would fit into Living Coral, but it's a duochrome, so it's like a gold and a pink. Um, I might use that. It's not quite the right tone, but I might pop that in the look somewhere. I also pulled out the Yes Please palette just in case. I feel like this shade right here could be a nice transition to start off because it has that undertone to it. But I wanted to share this shade because I might end up using this on the lid a little bit. I don't know, that might be too orange. We'll see. Also, if you don't feel like you have any Living Coral shades, you can use either of the blushes and then work that into the crease. So I think I wanna start with the Naked Cherry Palette and the shade Juicy and work this into my crease. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be too pink, so I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna keep it really light-handed here. What I am gonna do is kind of drag it out so that it matches up with the blush. Right, now going into Born to Run, I'm going to take Still Shot and just kind of layer that over top of where I put the first color. Yeah, this is much better. I did switch brushes though, and I'm using a Sigma E25 so I can keep this a little bit closer in the crease. Okay, I'm feeling like this isn't matching in with the blush as much as I wanted it to. So I'm going to take a little bit of the blush on my blending brush and go over top of everything with this. Okay, so instead what I was initially thinking I was going to do was take a still shot and work that onto the lid, but I actually want to put something orange down so I can kind of start canceling out this pink a little bit. And over that I'm going to layer some other colors, but I think if I just go in with still shot, this look is going to look too pink and not corally enough. So I'm going into Yes Please and I'm going to take this orange. Now I'm just going to tap this on lightly. I don't want to get like a full wash of orange color. I just want there to be enough of this that the look stops pulling pink and starts looking a little more coral. I do feel like that helped. It's still a little too pink for my liking and that's my own fault for starting with the shade from the Naked Cherry palette, but that's okay. So now I wanna add a little bit of shimmer onto the lid. Not a lot, cause I kinda like where this look is now, but I wanna give it some dimension. So I'm gonna take this shade from the ColourPop Yes Please palette and I'm just gonna pick it up on my finger, then just barely tap it over. I'm not going for like a maximum pigmentation foiled look right now. I just wanna give it a little bit of that gold sheen. I like that because this color kind of shifts between like orange and red and gold, it kind of pulls in some more coral tones into this look. Okay, so I kind of feel like I'm getting there. I'm gonna pull up, this is the Pantone Instagram page and all of their photos are in like living coral. So you can see this is kind of my inspiration and I feel like we're on the right track. So I'm highlighting my inner corner with a little bit of Hustler Baby. And then I'm gonna kind of drag it up the lid a tiny bit. All right, so I added a little bit of mascara and now I'm gonna go in with Still Shot again and start drawing this into the lower lash line. Okay, so because I think the cheeks need even more, I normally never wear this much blush. But for this look, I feel like it's not complete unless the cheeks really match the eyes. So I'm actually using the Ofra blush right now because it's even more pigmented than the Urban Decay one. Okay, so I feel like the blush helped and now we're gonna finish the look off with lips. So at first I thought I might use the shade Snitch from Urban Decay. This is one of their Hi-Fi lip glosses. 
I'm gonna swatch this right here for you. But this I think is a little bit too like strawberry. I don't know, I wore this the other day and it's living coral-ish, but it's just too red and pink. So I'm gonna mix it in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Nudist Peach. This on its own I think is a little bit too light and too peach, but I feel like together they're gonna work, I hope. Let me take one last sip of tea before I can't drink anything without getting lipstick on it. Okay, wait a minute. I really actually love the way that this all pulls together with the peach lip. And I almost don't want to put Snitch on top, but I'm going to because I feel like if I stop here, it's not a living coral look, it's just a peach look. I don't know though, this is pretty living corally. Uh, I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny bit of Snitch, just like the smallest amount. Okay, I'm actually really glad that I mixed the two colors together because I feel like it made all the difference. So if you have a very peach lipstick and a very like ready pink lipstick, you can mix them together, mix and match. Maybe try it on the back of your hand first so you know what you're working with. But it's very likely that you do not have a living coral lip color, but you don't have to run out and buy one to recreate this look. Just mix and match what you already have. All right, so here was the inspiration and here is the look I feel like. I did a pretty good job with it. Um, here's some more coral tones. I really like the way that this came out. I hope you guys did as well. If you try this look out, tag me on Instagram so I can see your recreations. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.